What's your diet like? Tell them. Lie, lie, lie. And when you're asked about it, just lie within the lie. And so Bradley Cassaberry, you're a freaking liar, full stop. Coach Greg, in the moment you've all been waiting for. If you've ever heard of Brad Castleberry, you know the controversy of him using fake weights. The guy was bragging for years that he could outbench everyone, and we do in fact have history. About 20 years ago when I was competing in the Muscle Mania and so on, there was this guy, Brad Castleberry, who says he could bench press 585 pounds. And I was thinking, he can't bench press that much. And so I literally challenged him years ago. He may not remember. I eventually became a world champion in the bench press press literally have a world record. Brad Castleberry, on the other hand, who claims he could bench press well over 100 pounds more than me, how many records does he have? And so to me, the proof is in the pudding. If you're so strong, why do you not have any records? Why are there no official records of Brad Castleberry ever having set any records whatsoever? Well, I'll tell you why. Because they were fake plates. He couldn't actually bench press this weight. And so what he does is this. Let's say you can bench press 495 pounds, of which I have done for four reps. That's a lot. And then add on two fake plates on the end of it. And now rather than 495, you now have 675 on the bar and you've done it for four reps. You're thinking, yeah, it's real. See, some of the plates are real, but some of them are not. And so he's now met his match. Larry Wheels, who we know is legit. Larry Wheels is actually strong. It's not fake weights. This guy's an animal. And so you can see in this video, training with Larry Wheels, Brad Castleberry, not nearly as strong as Larry Wheels. And of course, not nearly as strong as he led on to believe. Remember, he's still strong. Of course he is. Guy can bench press over 400 pounds. That's very impressive. But is it 675? Of course not. Look, oh, Brad, you were my inspiration for a long time. I remember like a decade ago, seeing your videos. And so Larry Wheels says, I used to look up to Brad Castleberry. Yeah, there's fake weights, but I knew you were still strong. And so essentially it's like this. The guy was strong, but lied about being stronger. It's like having an amazing physique, but being enhanced. You lie about it. You say I'm 100% natural, but you still have an amazing physique. And so although Brad Castleberry clearly lied, he wasn't as strong as he let out to be. He was still a very strong dude. I heard that you were interested in getting the power with him. Yeah, I was uh, kind of, I, I, I think, like I was like just talking about it. honestly. I want to do the uh, I want to do uh, uh, bodybuilding. Bodybuilding. I'm not more, no, not powerlifting. Okay. Only bodybuilding. And so, and so Larry Wheels asked him. I, I heard you want to be a powerlifter. Yeah. Oh, but but I was more focused on bodybuilding. You know, bodybuilding was my thing. Well, last I heard, I don't think he's competing in about twenty years. And so to me, that is just an excuse. He loves to train heavy. Does that not sound like a powerlifter? And so if he was being totally honest, he would say, the reason I didn't enter a powerlifting competition is because people would discover that I lied about how much I could lift. Imagine, hey, I can do 675. Check out my bench press. You show up to a meet and you do 495. Looks pretty bad now, doesn't it? Oh, I dehydrated. I had to pause the weight on my chest. And so I'm down 200 pounds. People say, you lied. And so I do believe the reason why he didn't actually enter any official powerlifting competition was because he would have been outed. Oh, he's not that strong. Yeah, he's strong, but he's not that strong. Imagine if the Trend Twins suddenly started using fake weights. We know they're very strong, benching nearly 500 pounds and squatting and deadlifting over 600. But add two fake plates to each side, suddenly they're benching in the upper sixes and squatting and deadlifting over 800 pounds. Now, if they did that, they'd perhaps be this generation's Brad Castleberry only twins. But if they enter a powerlifting competition and people discover that they lied, well, not gonna look good for them, now is it? Right, we'll get some shots later you guys judge you like what what should we do bodybuilding powerlifting you know what i mean i mean <laughs> Big answer's clear, even as yeah. of right now. That's what I'm saying. And so he says, hey, maybe we'll decide at the end of the video, should I be a bodybuilder or a powerlifter? Larry Wheel says it's pretty clear. He clearly knows he's better at bodybuilding. He can't lift nearly the weights that he says he can. And why are we bothering to show Brad Castleberry close grip benching 135 pounds? Every video I've ever seen is him lifting five, six, seven plates doing ridiculously heavy weights. And so why are we pretending now that he lifts with 135 pounds? Dude, your conditioning is not bad, even as it is right now. See the stretches of your chest. And yeah, you'll trip on my legs and hamstrings. Are they shredded? It's shredded. And so Larry's giving him a ton of compliments saying, look at how ripped your chest is. It's amazing. And Brad follows it up with, I have the most amazing hamstrings are shredded. They're ripped everywhere. Well, why are you wearing jogging pants if your legs are so amazing, so impressive? Why are we training with track pants? Now I notice as they're doing their close grip bench press, it seems to be a race. It's not how fast you can do these reps. And why are we only going three quarters of the way up? Is it not okay to do full range 
range of motion. Even though the weight is light, relatively light for these guys, two plates a size, not a lot of weight, why are we not going through the full range of motion? Let's go! Oh yeah, right! Yep, right! Come on! Perfect! Four, yep. three, five, six, yep. seven! Why did the plate slow down? It was three plates on each side. It was slowing down at rep about number eight. This is a guy who's done six plates a side, doing close grip bench. Three plates, about half of that weight. This should be easy. He should be able to rep out 30, 40 reps. But notice he's slowing down. There's no way he could even have got 20. But yet it's Brad Casberry, the guy that seemed to be able to lift anything. And so here's the problem. He's missing a fake plate on each side. Imagine if he had a fake plate. There's three plates on each side, but now there's suddenly four. He does 10 reps slowing down at number eight. Well, that would be very impressive, but there's no fake place here. Larry Wheels ensuring that he is not cheating. And again, I see the speed of the reps, the half reps. I don't know if it's a race. Perhaps they're training for explosive power. Perhaps there's another reason. But Larry Wheels, who's gunning for an IBB Pro card in classic physique, I do believe he could benefit from full range of motion reps. And so based on three plates aside, who looks stronger right now? Does Larry Wheels not look like he can bench at least 90 pounds more than Brad Castleberry? And so Brad Castleberry, what does he top out at? 405 for five reps with elbow wraps. That is still very impressive. But notice it's not 495 it's not 585 and it certainly isn't 675 and so in the real world brad castleberry he's still a beast he's still an animal but he's not as strong as you think he can't lift as much weight without fake plates on the bar as he can without see you guys i knew brad was strong all along <laughs> I, I never had any doubts well look at the guy he's like 240 pounds of muscle does he not look strong the problem is he's not as strong as you think you can't get stronger and not get bigger and so larry says you can't get stronger and not get bigger bigger actually you can you can actually get smaller and stronger at the same time just because you're stronger doesn't mean your muscles are getting bigger you can recruit a higher percentage of muscle fibers have greater neuromuscular innervation you simply recruit more of the muscle fibers and allow them to explode fire at the same time just think of it. There are female tennis players out there who can serve way harder than you. They might not have as much muscle mass, but they know how to contract every muscle fiber exactly at the same time in order to produce as much power as possible. And so you can, in fact, get stronger without getting bigger at the same time. And then Larry Wheels follows up those five reps with 15 reps of his own. But remember, they're not full range of motion. But no matter what they are, it's still ridiculous. I can't believe he's as strong. It's absolutely ridiculous. We know it's not fake plates. And so Larry Wheels still in a different leg of his own. Stay hard, like David Goggins said. <laughs> stay hard, bro. Stay hard, bro. Stay hard. Honestly, I think staying hard is the best solution to anything in life. And if you're looking to stay hard, well, why not pick up harder than last time? And you know what I'm talking about for the downstairs all these guys talking about staying hard flexing the biceps and so on but what good is all that if you can't get the hardness where you need it when you need it most code greg 10 percent off click the link in the description don't you love how their training involves no controlling of the eccentric like why is it that when youtubers get together they forget everything they know about how to train a muscle effectively like why are we not controlling the eccentric why are we speeding through all the reps why are we doing three quarter reps do we suddenly forget about time under 10 or using proper rep cadence or pausing weight when we're training with friends? I just don't get it. Perhaps it's too much testosterone, egos, but please, when you work out in the gym, especially with others, leave your egos at the door. Easy work. And so if it's easy work, why are we grunting so hard? Why are we not controlling a rep? Why are we not using good form? And do you not see him lift two and three plates on each side? This is one plate. One plate. And so why would he ever do two plates or three plates aside if he's struggling to use proper technique with one plate? And so although Larry's getting 30 reps plus, this is not good form. This is not good technique. He's swinging a lot. He's not using full range of motion. The weight is not going all the way down. Remember, he has in fact hurt his bicep in the past. And so I don't think it's a smart idea to start competing with other people on a muscle that you've already injured. Remember, you're going for an IFBB pro card in class of physique. They don't care how much you can curl, whether you can get 30, 40, even 100 reps. Please use better form than last time. As lean as Brad Castleberry is, do you notice when he does his front double bicep, it doesn't really look that lean? Why can't he flex? When I flex the bicep, you can see conditioning. You can see the difference. You see the little Pac-Man, the little cut on the side coming up here. 
Why does Brad Castleberry's arm not look normal? It looks like he's doing this. It, it looks like he's kind of doing a half flex, but you know he's trying to impress. And so is there something going wrong with his bicep? Is that a real bicep? Why does he not look proper when flexing the biceps? And one thing you need to understand when posing and standing next to other people, it's all about camera angles and who's standing closer to camera. It's so easy to out angle someone. If you're even three inches closer to camera, you're gonna look twice as big as the person behind you. And so I do believe Larry Wheel's perhaps a little bit closer to camera, but in the end, does it really matter? Don't judge how big someone is when they're standing next to the person, but judge their shape, their symmetry, the size, the conditioning based on that own individual. And so to me, we already know how great of a bodybuilder Larry Wheels is. And so for Brad Casberry to look this good, clearly he would do exceptionally well in bodybuilding. Just needs to get shredded and compete. And you know he's not going to, he just all talk. And does Brad Castleberry claim to be natural? I mean, I have no idea. Is he actually claimed to be natty? It's obvious to me he's not natural, but if he says he's natural, can you in fact believe him? Notice you can't believe him about anything. You can't believe him about how much weights he lifts. You can't even believe him about what he eats on his diet. Wait till you see the contradiction he says, oh, I have no protein powders. I have a protein shake with protein powder for breakfast and supper. Where is his bicep? Again, why is there no conditioning in his arms? Is that perhaps oil? I mean, why do I not see any conditioning, any striations? Why are Brad Castleberry's arms looking so soft? I mean, for a guy with clearly visible six pack obliques, chest striations, everything, why are his arms so unimpressive? I mean, they look big, but where's the conditioning? I mean, after all, it's 48 year old coach Greg. How could I possibly keep up with these young bucks? And so interesting, they're having a pose down. Brad says his best body part is hamstrings. Also my best body part. I'm thinking, I can't wait to see what his looks like. No hamstrings, no quads. And so for me, my best body part, my legs, hey, I at least flex them, but where are Brad Castleberry's legs when you need them? What's your diet like? Tell him. And so here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for. What is Brad Castleberry's diet like? Uh, honestly, it's the same thing every day. Just eat breakfast, egg whites. I, I do no powders. It's all raw foods. And so it's the same thing every day. You know, breakfast, egg whites, and so on and no powders. You've heard him say it, no powders. And so I'm foreshadowing. Are you ready? I'll believe in the powders. And then uh, bananas, egg whites. In the morning, they'll have a lunch, rice and some kind of protein. And so it's bananas and egg whites for breakfast. I mean, how many calories is in that? How is he eating enough calories from just egg whites and bananas? No healthy fats, bananas and egg whites. Well, let's go with that. Well, what about lunch? In the morning, they'll have a lunch, rice and some kind of protein, same meal at dinner. And for lunch, it's rice and some kind of protein. Perhaps it's chicken, broccoli, and rice. You know, the typical standard bodybuilding diet. Instead of chicken, maybe another protein. Maybe it's hamburger, turkey, maybe it's a steak, maybe it's salmon, whatever. And for dinner, same thing as lunch. And so here's his diet so far. No powders, never powders, doesn't believe in powders, all raw whole foods, you know what I mean. And so for breakfast, it's bananas and egg whites. Then it's rice and chicken, perhaps for lunch, rice and steak for dinner. And then what else does he eat? And then maybe a protein shake at the end of the day, the same one I had in the morning. Let me repeat that. He stated at the start of this explanation of what he eats that he has no powders ever. He doesn't believe in that. I, I do no powders. It's all raw foods. I don't believe in the powders. But yet before bed, he has a protein shake. You know, the same one that he had for breakfast. But 15 seconds ago, he said for breakfast, he had bananas and egg whites. And so which is it, Bradley? I mean, you don't believe in protein powders? What's next? I don't believe in calories in, calories out. Well, I don't believe in the fact that you've lifted plates your entire life and lied about how much you could lift. What's next? You're 100% natural? I mean, how can we believe you? In one paragraph, you stated you don't believe in protein powders. You never eat them. Then you said for breakfast, you have egg whites and bananas. And then you just said that before bed, you have protein shakes, the same one you had for breakfast. What to believe? And so Bradley Cassaberry, you're a freaking liar, full stop. I mean, after saying I don't have protein powders, but I have protein powders before bed in the morning, I'm I'm dead. Mm. Four solid meals, each one's about 800, 1500 calories. And so he has four solid meals between 800 and 1500 calories. I clearly heard him say he had three solid meals, breakfast, dinner, and supper, and then a liquid meal, a protein shake before bed. And how is he eating between eight and 1500 calories in each meal? 
You really think he's having 800 to 1500 calories of egg whites and bananas for breakfast? What exactly is in that protein shake? I mean, let's count that liquid protein shake as being a solid meal at the end. Is that protein shake he has in the evening, which he also has his breakfast apparently, is it really going to have over 800 calories in a protein shake? And if so, what's in it? And so if you're actually listening to Brad Casimir, you get some advice on nutrition, you want to know what he eats. Did you learn anything from that? Each meal has eight to 1500 calories. And so he eats between 3,200 and 6,000 calories a day, somewhere in that range. He doesn't believe in protein powders. And so he doesn't recommend you eat them, but he eats it twice a day. He hasn't stated he has anything other than rice and meat, egg whites, bananas, that's it. And protein powder, of which he doesn't have protein. And so does he eat any fats, any vegetables, fish? What exactly does he eat? He gave us nothing. I've been dumbified by watching this video. Hey, I've done this since I was 12 years old. I'm 38 years old. I'm still doing it. So it's like, I think what I'm doing works. And so whatever he's been doing, it clearly works. He's been lifting weights since he was 12. He's 38 years old lifting with Larry. And so apparently here's the secret. Lie about how much you can lift. Lie about what you've been taking, whether you're natural or not. And lie about what you're eating. Lie, lie, lie. And when you're asked about it, just lie within the lie. I mean, the guy outed himself. Do you really need me to say he's a liar? Oh, I don't eat protein powder. I like protein. It would be equivalent to someone saying, I don't believe in doing cardio. You don't need to do cardio to lose weight and saying, I do 30 minutes of cardio post-workout as well as 30 minutes in the morning fasted. Let me know in the comments section, was this not more hilarious than last time to actually see Brad Castleberry screw himself up to bury himself, to out himself in this way? Clearly, the guy's a liar. Let me know what you think of this. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to subscribe and click that bell button to get notified for more videos like this, please do so right away. And of course, you can get a Seco protein bar right now, $9.99 for a freaking box of 12. It's usually $35 all by buying any other supplement. Perhaps you want Turk Builder with actual Turkesterone. It's freaking amazing. Or Ecti Builder with a variety of Ecti steroids or you want more cardio, better endurance, you get GO2 Max. You get everything on my website. Pre-workouts with stim, no stim for pumps, everything. Head over to my website and if you got no money, that's cool, it's a matter. Head over to my website anyway. You get a free diet and training program. It's close to 50 pages. Over 300,000 newsletter subscribers have joined the team. Head over there right now. Ending it here. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Please watch one of the two bloops. Of course, you know, as always, the cookbooks, the training books, the circle diet book, coaching plans by me and my team, phone consults, cameos, the harder than last time clothing line, all on my website. And until next time, off to the airport, I am out. See you soon, Columbia.